Hello YouTube, uh, today the purpose of this video is to do the unboxing of the Fruits Phone 4S. Um, I received this package about a week ago. It took, um, uh, I, I ordered, I'm here located in the United States and it took about five business days to receive it. I chose the, uh, the FedEx Express Mail and I pay about almost, I think it was $40. Um, to get it shipped here uh, faster. Um, it came in this white box and uh, when I open it, this is what I found. Here we have the phone itself. Let's put this aside for the moment. Then it came in this box. It looked like it had a uh, maybe something uh, like an iPhone uh, full box or something it doesn't have any descriptions at the bottom um, when you open it here you see the standard um, iPhone accessories just a wall charger USB cable and headphones you also see here the manuals they're in English but they actually say um, iPhone 4 instead of iPhone 4s and I believe this is an exact uh, this is an original manuals from the iPhone because it gives you links and and um, websites for the original iTunes store which we know that these phones do not support so that, that was just a copy and paste for the manual part but at least they're in English and at least they came with it um, so now let's go to the phone here it came in this uh, fruit wrap I seen this uh, at the supermarket for imported fruits, <laughs> that was kind of clever. Um, then it comes in this plastic. So remove this. Um, here we have the phone itself. Okay. Here's the back. It came with the um, uh, original iPhone back glass. Here we see the uh, camera, the LED flash. On the sides, we see the uh, silent switch, the plus and minus volume rocker. The bottom, we see the charging port right here. We see the speak speaker and microphone. On the top here, we see the uh, ear speaker with a 1.3 megapixel camera. Oh, and by the way, the real camera is a 5 megapixel camera as well. Um, we had the micro. Um, uh, micro SIM card slot here um, now on the antennas the ones on the top they're they seem to be painted they're not actual antennas I mean I don't know if you can see that let me focus a little bit here uh, here we go I mean it looks pretty I would say pretty well but it's still you know when you look at it in real life you can tell that it is painted uh, the bottom ones are are real. Um, this version I got is the um, the one with the retina display, uh, but there are some differences here. I noticed that the screen is a Chinese-made retina display. It's not an original iPhone 4 uh, retina display as we've seen in the in some of the Google Apples, like the Google Apple V5 and the Google Apple V5 3G. Those had the original retina display, and I have a white for us here to show you. You will notice the, the differences in just a moment. Here we have the phone in side by side. Okay. Here we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack together with the power buttons, power and sleep uh, button. Okay. Here on the sides we have. Um, Two phones that look just identical. I said right here, and you can see there the paint is already fading off a little bit on the top. Um, I guess I gotta repaint it. Um, the bottom, see both phones are identical, except for the color, of course. And as you can see here from the screens, you can tell that this screen looks different from this one. And it's not just the uh, color-wise, it's the actual LCD looks different. But now when you um, turn it on, the color looks nice and vivid. 
Okay. I'm going to go through a couple apps real quick. First of all, this phone came with a YouTube app that was different um, from the uh, from the Android. It was a Chinese uh, video player, so I had to download my own. And what I did is I put it onto the system. Um, I also uh, it didn't come with the market. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the focus in here. Let's see if I can make it a little better. Uh, there we go. So it didn't come with the Play Store, which is the new market for the Android. So I had to also download that. Now it's uh, fully working, and I again I installed it directly into the system. So in case I restore it or I uh, reset it, it will have that forever now. Um, it's already rooted as well. Um, the phone is pretty decent. You know, it feels lighter than um, most uh, Google Apples. Uh, it doesn't feel that heavy. You know, that heavy built. It actually, this one is I would say two times heavier than this one, or just about two times. You know, it's it's. It, I mean, you can feel the quality on this one. It's not. Uh, it doesn't feel as good as the iPhone 4s. But you know, for the price, it's a fair price. I got this for 215. Um, Plus, I could have gotten a cheaper chi uh, chipping method, but um, I don't like waiting, so I chose the faster shipping. Okay, now we'll go quickly through the, some of the system apps, such as the uh, mail app. It's exactly like the one on the iPhone, except that we all know that we don't have iCloud here. Um, the phone application is also the dialer is identical to the iPhone 4s and I will show you that this is the iPhone 4s by activating Siri hello Siri I don't know what you mean by there you go whatever so you saw Siri right there so let's go to the dialer and as we can see they're almost identical just a little bit font difference not too much okay um, we also see here Safari. Safari are almost identical as well. Um, they don't have any connection right now, but it, you can see at the very bottom. Uh, it even gives you the option to go back on the browser, which before on the Android, the only option was to hit the uh, home button, either ones or you know regular Android devices have a uh, back button. Here you can just do it directly from the browser, which I think is really cool. I just got to connect to the internet. So there we go. We see some um, some similarities here too. Um, the photos app also are very similar, but I have pictures here. I just don't want to show them right now. Um, messaging apps. Let me show you. You can see it's very similar to the one that we've seen on the iPhone. Okay. I'm just going to go. Th through, I'm gonna do another video doing a specific review on this um, and we also see of course some Chinese applications um, uh, these applications right here like Root Explorer those are the ones I installed again as I told you uh, earlier I rooted the device already it's super simple I have a video here on how to root the Google Apple V5 uh, 3G just follow those steps and you will have the Fruits Phone 4S rooted as well um, again, if you want to remove some of the applications, you can use Root Explorer. As I did already, it came with more Chinese applications, and I still got some more to delete. Um, this phone has a working GPS. It has a working Bluetooth. Um, settings are very, very similar to the iPhone. As you can see here, I'm going to show you. This is the 4S, and this is the Android. Okay, they made it very similar, but sometimes it lags a little bit um, when you're scrolling down. And if you go here to About, you're going to notice, first of all, that's not my SD card. I have an 8 gigabyte inside. It's just, just pretending that it has 32 gigabytes. Uh, the version is correct. That's Android 2.3.4. The model, that's what they named it. Um, serial number. I don't think that's right either, but I will assume it is. Um, he had the IMEI also. Uh, 
it gives it even gives you the ICC ID number, which is your uh, S, uh, I'm sorry your your micro uh, SIM card. Uh, it gives you all the information about that. Um, uh, it gives you pretty much uh, the settings that you will see on the on the 4S. Uh, let's see here. We go to general here, and we go to about and about one more time. Here we see a lot of similarities. Okay, and once again, on this um, phone, they made it where you can go back by just hitting the top right here. I never seen that on the Google Apple, and I think it's truly amazing that you are able to go back directly from here, from the from the actual screen, and you don't have to be pressing the button down here. Uh, to me, that's really cool. Um, those are some of the features we see. Uh, let's see cameras they're pretty decent I don't know if you can see that right there you can see uh, obviously the 4s has a much better camera I mean that's I mean I just did this for demonstration purposes but we all know that the 4s is gonna win um, let's shoot a picture here and now let's shoot a picture from here so I mean I had the flash one on I believe but just to give you an idea of what it looks like I don't think I had the flash on on this one it's just an idea so you know how fast it is as you can see it's a little um, laggy right there okay um, this on the fruits phone 4s is actually um, they made it look like it's only for videos but it also works for um, you know if you take uh, let's say uh, you can put movies here and so on um, you know it's mostly but you know I think it's video dedicated uh, but it's not just for the videos you shoot with your uh, with your device it's also you can download movies and stuff into it and you can see them directly from here iTunes it's a fake um, iTunes it's a Chinese iTunes so it's not it's not valuable to me. Uh, those are some of the applications that um, are not as good. Um, YouTube application, I had to install it here because it wasn't there. Let me focus this a little bit. As so you can see, the YouTube and the Play Store wasn't there. Okay. Now I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi real quick here. And you should see my network. I think that ice cream truck is back again. Um, yeah, let's connect here. Let me just put my password real quick. So now it's obtaining IP address. It's connecting. Not quite yet. So there we go. Connected. Okay, so now as you can see, it has connected to the uh, my Wi-Fi. It says virus downloading. That's my Wi-Fi name. And it's very similar to the iPhone. Uh, as you can see on the settings they're basically identical so that's something I really like um, let me see now we're gonna go to uh, we already went to setting we have the notes application is almost the same as the iPhone as you can see very very similar uh, li little differences but you know not too much the weather application it's also very similar but it's in Chinese some of the letters are in Chinese so um, some of them are useful to me some of them like I said some of the applications are not useful um, so we know that how it looks on the iPhone um, let's see what else um, and I think that's pretty much it what I'm gonna go through right now um, this Again, this is just was mostly for the unboxing, just to give me an idea of what the phone looks like. Um, you know, they're pretty much identical physically, except for the upper antennas. But you know, it's it, it does the job. Um, the backs. I don't know if you can see that right there. The cameras are located exactly the same. They have the 9.3 millimeters uh, thickness. So pretty much um, physically are the same phones.
I almost uh, forgot to mention about the uh, music. Um, this is the music application on both of the phones. Uh, this is the uh, the Fruits phone. As you can see, it's very similar to the um, iPhone, but you know, the iPhone is always a little smoother. This lags a little bit, <clears throat> but as you can see, they're very similar. They're almost identical. So, I mean, for those looking to have a factory unlocked phone, looking, uh, you know, who are in a budget um, for not spending a lot of money on the iPhone or getting into a commitment, I would recommend this phone. It's a nice phone, it's, it's pretty quick. Um, you know, it has all the features uh, of a regular Android phone. Uh, it plays uh, 3D games as well, and it does pretty well on those 3D games. Um, uh, so far, I tried a couple racing games and uh, so on, and it, it, it moves quite well. Um, it, it's very res the buttons are very responsive. Uh, as you can see, the screen, other than when you turn it off, uh, they look, you know, it looks, it has very nice colors. You can see the pixels. Uh, it's an actual retina display, but I think, you know, this is a, this one was actually made by the Chinese. Uh, you know, it's a clone of the retina. Before on the Google Apple, they used an actual iPhone uh, for retina display. And um, what I mean by that is that the connectors inside, because I already took this phone apart, the connectors inside are a little different. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's a great phone. Like I said, for those looking for a budget, um, it's a nice phone to have. So, again, feel free to ask me questions. Um, uh, sometimes I'm a little busy and I might not be able to answer it quick. But I'll try to get to everybody. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.